So, you know, if you look at male and female mice that were given metformin, about 100 milligrams per kilogram body weight, which for, that's a human equivalent dose of like eight milligrams per kilogram body weight. So that translates to something like 660 milligrams for like a 180 pound person. So that given to mice, it decreased the average lifespan of male mice by 13% and increased the average lifespan of female mice by about 4%. Now, the negative effect on male, male lifespan could actually be dose dependent. So there was another study looking at different doses in male mice. So male mice were given either a 0.1% or a 1% dose of metformin in their diet, uh, starting at the age of like 50 weeks or something, 54 weeks. Their lifespan, their average lifespan increased at the lower dose. So their, their average lifespan increased by close to 6%. But the high dose, it was toxic. It reduced their average lifespan by like, what I mentioned earlier, something between 13 to 14%. So that's something to consider the dose. And then mm -hmm. also the age that, you know, these animals are given their first treatment. There was another study, and this is in female, a lot of studies have been done in female mice because that was, female mice have been shown to be the most responsive in terms of lifespan extending uh, effects. And um, female mice that were given, again, 100 milligrams per kilogram body weight of metformin starting at the age of three, three months, nine months, or 15 months, the most robust effects were happened earlier. So at three months, the lifespan was increased by 14%. Uh, if they were given at the age of nine months, it increased by only 6%. And if they were given it at the age of 15 months, they were their lifespan, there was no effect, no difference at all. Now, mm. mice live on average around two to two and a half years. So that's like their average lifespan. So 15 months do, is a little What do mice older. typically die of? Just old age? It depends. You know, some of them, they get like lymphomas and yeah, but they do, they die of old age. The reason why I ask is that, you know, some of the life ex extension things on the human side I've heard have been linked to its ability to prevent certain cancers. Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah. And that's one thing, like mice don't get human types of, I mean, humans get lymphomas and, and leukemias, but the majority of human cancers are, are what's called epithelial based cancers not blood-based cancers. They're epithelial-based cancers, meaning they're like solid tumors, you know, prostate mm -hmm. cancer, liver cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, right? You know, these, these are all solid tumors. Some of the human studies, which is what you just brought up, I mean, that's, that's kind of like getting to the human data is what's really important. But I wanted to mention that animal study data because it's the variable effects on, you know, depending on gender and dose and time of administration. I think that's all important stuff to like consider, right? Mm -hmm. And we don't really know why, honestly, why why the male mice are so like uh, sensitive to dose in terms of like their, their lifespan effects. 